We're ready for 157 pounds. Kyler Sanderson versus Colton Salazar. And here's what they had to say about their matches today. Colton, it's your junior year. Uh, you got a big match today against an old teammate from Utah, Kyler Sanderson. Your thoughts about going after a Big Ten championship? Uh, I'm excited, you know. I've been working hard for this since I was a little kid. Uh, it's always been my dream to get in the Big Ten finals, win a championship, and become an All-American. So, you know, it's exciting. It'll be fun to wrestle Kyler. You know, we grew up together and worked out together since we were like five years old. So it'll be fun, you know. Kyler, you're a senior at Penn State this year. You were an All-American earlier at Iowa State, but today you got a big match against an old teammate, uh, Colton S Salazar from Purdue. Your thoughts about going after the championship? Uh, I'm really looking forward to wrestling for my um, first Big Ten championship. Well, only I guess, but um, it's going to be fun wrestling Colton. You know, we've been best friends since we were little kids. We grew up in the same kids program. Both wrestled for my dad. Um, we've been on teams forever. So, and we're just really close, so it should be a lot of fun. Friends who are foes today at 157 pounds. And with Minnesota's Dustin Schlater unable to compete because of an injury, it left this weight class wide open. And here's what happened. Former teammates from Wasatch, Utah, wrestled for Kyler Sanderson and Kale Sanderson's dad at uh, Heber in Heber, Utah. Actually, uh, Colton Salazar is a year older than um, Kyler Sanderson, but he went on a two-year Mormon mission, and so he's a junior eligibility, Kyler a senior, and there's Salazar in on the leg. Coach Gable, I look at this as the Battle of Heber City, Utah, so uh, we're going back home here. Well, you know, right here. I don't know what kind of friends they are, but they're probably not the best of friends right this minute, and if they are, then that's gonna slow the match down, so. I could be an edge on one side or the other. He's kind of the honorless person here on the block. Both teams only entries in the Big Ten championships going against. So one team's going to get a champion, the other's going to be shut out. Get your motion, Sal. Get your motion here. Purdue. Salazar in the green ankle man. Black singlet. Kyler Sanderson in the blue and white of Penn State in the red ankle band. Well, Kyler has an opportunity here. Uh, he was a Big 12 champ as a sophomore at Iowa State, and there's not too many people walking around having uh, two major conference titles in their pocket. Uh, so if he wins tonight, great, great technique there. High crotch, had to be outside. Used his hips, drove him towards the edge of the mat, and that, that's tough to counter. Here we are again, a, kind of a space shot there. Head tight to the hip, finishes in a double. Sanderson and Salazar growing up together, wrestling in the kids club together, teammates on high school, but they have never met collegiately. Our technique when he, uh, when he shot that high crotch, double leg, uh, was kind of reminding me when you're talking about it that I've seen a lot of Gibbons boys uh, do that driving, lifting, and you really jumped on that. So, I, I mean, you, you, knew, you knew that was the type of technique that you've seen before that works. Uh, that was my favorite move growing up. You know, what I liked about the high crotch is that, you know, I wasn't great at upper body throws, but if I did my high crotch right, pop my hips, and there was an opportunity to get back points as we were coming to the mat. Actually, you're 100% correct, because everybody thinks you got to throw somebody like upper body, but really a good double leg can put a guy right in danger for back points, or a good single leg, or any moves that uh, that you can drive a guy. There's Kale Sanderson, we just got a peek at his first year in the Big Ten, after being at Iowa State for three years. They won three Big 12 titles in a row while I was there, and Oklahoma State dethroned them yesterday, winning the uh, Big 12 title by a point and a half over Iowa State. In his first year in the Big 10, Cale Sanderson has his brother as their entry into the championships. There's Cale, four-time NCAA champion, undefeated Iowa State Cyclone. Now committed to building a program to win the NCAAs at Penn State, and they've got a great state, high school-wise, to pull from in Pennsylvania. Go, Sal, come on. Right there, to one side and pulled up that single leg, but uh, when he got in there, he allowed Sanderson to put some weight on there and get that leg back. To the center, keep wrestling. Center, center, 
kind of held on too long, didn't get his head and hip, and he needed to drive with his head a little more, a little more squat to keep the weight off it. A lot of weight on that, um, on that leg. Fair offense, gentlemen. Heavy with your hands here. That's enough, set the message, go get him. Make him wrestle it up. Another nice shot, but, you know, real quick Sanderson shot. I mean, you know, he's got, he picks that up. Short time. Okay, that's what he was an expert in. Ankle, a knee, and it takes about a second to, to score. And then at the end of the period, there's Cody Sanderson, older brother of Kale. Uh, he was a two-time runner-up for Iowa State. There's Steve Sanderson. We talked about the Sanderson's dad, who coached both Salazar and Sanderson in high school. There's Steve, out from the father of Kale, Tyler and Cody. Taking pictures today. Penn State a little more relaxed and coaching in the corner. Well, he's a little more relaxed because this kid's up four to one. He's got riding time, 55 seconds of riding time. Good look at Kyler, up four to one, as coach said. Couple of takedowns there, one unanswered at the end of the first period. Out in one second. I like that, you know, Kyler, you know, just exploded off the whistle. And, you know, we need to see more of that from our bottom wrestling. Uh, it makes it a lot easier if you're moving off the whistle to get back on your feet. And that's where Sanderson wants to be right here. Time out, got a little knocked in the head. There's Tom Eric's assistant coach for Purdue. He was a longtime top ranked wrestler for the USA. Just happened to be at the same time that Bruce Baumgartner was uh, the reigning heavyweight for most of those years. He shoots in, ready. comes back out, shoots again, and I believe he shoots again. And well, that time, he, uh, yeah, right he did three shots in a row, and one of them obviously right. had some trauma to his head and neck. So you hit somebody's hip when you come in, it's sometimes it uh, can hurt a little bit. Motion angles, pump backs, let's go. Three and a half minutes, let's go. A nice shot, but good counter, good, good takedown. <laughs> Deja vu, right? Well, it was just low single and <laughs> different uniform, but uh, same teacher. <laughs> Two points for Salazar, tightens the match at five to three. Coming out of second Heber, period. Coming out of Heber City. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah look shot. at this. Yes, same, you know, John Smith, Kale Sanderson, boom, right there. Boy, that's tough to counter. You get someone front, hanging on their heels front, front. and front. change off to a double. Stay set. Go ahead, top. Get your finish here. Hold it. Set. There is no riding time advantage for either wrestler. Whatever was built up by Kyler is being uh, was brought down a little bit, about 32 seconds. There's your national rankings at 157 by Intermat. Sanderson ranked sixth. Hands and feet. That's it. Angles, there you go. Go, go. Nothing Heavy hips, heavy hips, heavy hips. Cover the head. Heavy head. Cover the head. Break Keep the working here. Keep working. Keep the head. Keep, Keep working. Salazar's doing a good job of you know keeping his hips down low and shoelaces to the mat. Not letting There's his toes get ready, planted. Tom Erickson and Glenn Lanham, assistant coaches at Purdue. Their head coach, Scott Hinkle, doing a nice job at Purdue. In his third year as the head coach, but about his 28th year in the program. He wrestled for Purdue. He was a longtime assistant coach, Scott Hinkle. He's got his assistants, Tom Erickson and Glenn Lanham, in the corner. Come on, wrestle here, gentlemen. For this 157 pound Big Ten Championship match. Tyler Sanderson in again. Nothing yet, nothing yet. You're still neutral. Uh, real, real close to scoring again. And I, think, I didn't get it yet. Didn't get it. It's, just, uh, it's close. I would say that that is two. 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 two right at the buzzer, looks like. They're not stopping the, it's not stopping the clock, though. They're going to have to decide whether it was. You're going to have to review. Time might have been out. I'm not sure. You had the takedown. You got the takedown. Okay. Takedown was there. Takedown was there. Two more points for Sanderson. Green. Where do you want? Green down. Eight to three. Salazar goes down, the junior. Goes underneath the senior. Look at this, uh, changes off to a double here. We'll watch he the clock. Yeah, sits him to the hip. And uh, he's just trying to scoop both ankles here is what he ends up doing to secure the takedown. I think you have to see the referee when he, when he finally said, so you can't see the referee. Yeah. So you don't know when he gave it. You have to see both. 
<laughs> Looked like he had Go pretty ahead. good control there. Score eight to three. Number six ranked wrestler in the country Thanks. at 157, okay. Kyler Sanders. His first year at Penn State followed his brother after three years wrestling for Iowa State. When Kale went to Penn State, Kyler followed him. Now in his first Big Ten finals and leading comfortably against his former high school teammate. There's one point escape for Colton Salazar. No riding time advantage. You see 56 seconds for Kyler Sanderson. A big move is what Salazar needs. Something that would score a little more than just the takedown. Get off the throw. Write us if you have comments about Big Ten Network wrestling. Big Ten Network.com slash wrestling. Fight to stay in. Keep wrestling here. Fight to stay in. Come on, on your feet. On your feet. Let's go quickly. Move your feet. On the line. Motion here, motion. Again, 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 again. Salazar seated number one. Still neutral. Sanderson seated number two. Still neutral. Salazar seated one because Dustin Schlater injured and not able to wrestle in this tournament. So he got the default from Dustin Schlater in the first round, then won easily over Burke from Wisconsin. A lot of time taken down here. It's almost like you need to go for the fall there. 20 seconds left in the match. Sanderson leading eight to four, trying to give Penn State a Big Ten champion. And Cale Sanderson, his brother, his first Big Ten championship. That would be memorable. Come to the center, on the line. Got about 16. Here's Cale. On the line. On the line. And his dad, Steve Sanderson. Stay in there and wrestle. And winding down, Kyle, Kyler Sanderson for Penn State is going to be the Big Ten champion at 157 pounds. And Jake, the family is, uh, they've transferred schools, but the results are the same. Championships, Kyler Sanderson, the senior, and now the 157 pound Big Ten champion.